how to read the periodic table. You will need a copy of the periodic table to follow along. You can also find a copy of the periodic table on the back of your school's agenda. Or on Google, just search for periodic table. The periodic table is composed of many blocks. Inside the blocks are info about each element. Today we will learn the very, very basic info of each element. You can find a copy of this picture in the link in the description below. Copy the info into your notebook as we go along. If you need more time, you can pause the video. In the block of an element, first we have is the element atomic number. This number will always be a whole number and is usually located at the top of the block. Next, an element must have a symbol. In this case, we have the letter C, which is the symbol for carbon. Another thing inside the block is the element mass. Just so you don't get confused with the atomic number, the mass is usually located at the bottom of the block. You can also identify that it is the mass because it will be written with a decimal and it will usually have multiple digits. Don't worry about the other stuff, we will go over them later on. Okay, so go ahead and copy everything down into your notebook exactly the same. I'll put one minute on the clock. If you need more time, just pause the video. Once you have copied down the picture, next we have two word searches. Again, you can find the word searches in the link in the description below. Print out the word search and complete them. This will be a good way to learn some of the elements name that are on the periodic table. Don't forget to put your name, date, and period on every single page. 